Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz and for today's video, we are going to do 10 peppermint themed DIYs for Christmas. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For this DIY, I'm gonna take two of these trucks that I found at the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to take one of their crates that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Normally there are three levels to this, but I did remove two of the sides and then cut down the sides so that it was just shorter so that I could fit it on my truck. So I just took it out to the garage and cut that down with my saw so the crate was smaller. And then I'm going to take my Dixie Bell chalk paint in barn red and I'm going to paint both of my trucks in this color besides the wheels and besides the bed of the truck. The wheels I'm going to paint black and then the bed of the truck I'm just going to leave as is because I did like that brown color. Kind of made it look like it was wood on the bed of the truck. And then for the crate, I'll also paint that with the same red chalk paint. And then once those are all painted and dried, I'm gonna take some hot glue in that crate and I'm just going to hot glue it down to the back of my truck and then I'll attach the other truck to the other side of the crate. And then I'm going to fill the crate with some floral foam and some styrofoam circles because I didn't have any more floral foam. That's all that I had left, so I definitely need to go get some more. I'm just gonna put that in for some picks that we're gonna use a little bit later. Once that's in there, I'm going to take my Chalk Couture transfers. These are the Christmas minis, and I'm going to use the little peppermint one with the little peppermint candies on there. I'm just going to cut that out. I am going to fuzz my transfer so it's not too sticky on my project. So just fuzz and fuzz and fuzz. And then I'll just align that on the truck door. And then I'm going to use my shimmery white chalk paste for this one. And I'm just going to go over all the little candies. I'll remove my transfer, make sure I wash it so I can use it again later. And look how cute those little peppermints are on the front of my truck. I just think they're really, really cute. Now I'm going to go in with several different Christmas type picks that I had in my stash. These are honestly from all over the place. Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's. I just cut up a whole bunch of different picks. I really liked the pine tree type picks. So I stuck a lot of those in there. And then I found these really cute large berries from the Dollar Tree. I took a pack of those and I just started placing them throughout my little arrangement all over really just wherever I thought that they would look nice. There's no rhyme or reason to how I did it. I just kind of started putting the berries all over in my arrangement. Once I have all of those in there, I actually found these little lollipop picks at Joann's. They were 99 cents plus on sale, and I just thought that these were so cute. So I grabbed two of them, and I cut them all apart, and I stuck them in my arrangement. And that's all you got to do for this DIY. I think this turned out so adorable and it is my absolute favorite out of all of my peppermint DIYs today. For this DIY, you are gonna grab any kind of tree form. I had this foam cone that worked perfectly, and I'm also going to grab some mints from the Dollar Tree. You need about two packs. I didn't use quite all of the two packs, but the majority of it. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave them in the package, and I'm just gonna start hot gluing the mints 
directly to my tree form. I just start at the bottom and hot glue them as close to each other as I possibly can. And this DIY was super, super easy. This is all you're gonna do all the way up to the top of your tree form. I tried to stagger them between each layer so that they're not just, you know, directly in a straight line. Everything's kind of staggered, but this is all you gotta do. Just keep hot gluing your mints over and over and over again around your entire tree. Once I get to the top, I try to just hot glue my mints as close to the very tip of my tree as I possibly can get. And then I'm going to take this lollipop pick. Look how adorable this is. I got this from Michaels. It was $4.99 plus on sale. And what I'm going to do is just cut down the pick part as much as I can with my miter shears because for some reason this was really hard to cut <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a utility knife poke a hole in the top of my tree and then I am just going to poke my lollipop right down on top and that's all you got to do for this one so cute and super easy For this DIY, we are going to use a roll of toilet paper. Yes, some toilet paper for some decor. And then if you run out, you know, you have some in your Christmas decor. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just start by grabbing a white piece of tissue paper. I'm going to wrap it around the toilet paper just because, you know, I didn't want the Charmin logos on my tissue paper. I just didn't think it would look very good. So I just covered it with that tissue paper and stuffed the ends in the holes on each side. And then I'm going to grab some red satin ribbon. I got this from Joann's. I believe and I cut off about five strips that measured the length of the toilet paper with enough on each end to hot glue down inside each of those holes. So all I'm going to do is stick my ribbon inside, add some hot glue and then wrap it around the toilet paper, add more hot glue and then stick it down in the opposite hole. And I'm just going to do this for all five strips of my ribbon. Now, once that is done, I'm gonna take some clear cellophane that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I just wrapped it around my now toilet paper mint about one and a half times. I'm gonna grab some white and red baker's twine. I'll twist up an end of the cellophane and then tie my baker's twine in a really tight double knot, push that mint all the way over as far as I can get it and then twist that side of the cellophane and then tie it again with my baker's twine. Really, really easy to do. All I'm going to do then is just trim the ends, trim the ends of the ribbon and that's it. That gives you a super cute large peppermint that I think would look adorable if you made multiple of these and put them in a basket and maybe set it by your TV or by your Christmas tree, by your mantle. I just think it would be absolutely adorable. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make multiple of these in the next coming weeks so that I can use them to decorate for Christmas. I just think these were so much fun and it literally took me maybe tops 10 minutes to do. Thank you. 
For this DIY, I'm going to grab one of these plaques that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start by painting it with my Waverly chalk paint in white. And I just made sure to give it a good two coats to cover up everything. And I painted the sides as well. Next, I'm going to take this Chocotor Candy Cane Co. Transfers that had this way to the Peppermint Forest. I thought this was so cute and so perfect for my Peppermint DIYs. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then again, like I do with all of my Chocotor transfers, you're going to fuzz and fuzz and fuzz until it isn't too sticky. I'll center it as best as I can on top of my sign and then I'm going to go in with my shimmery red chalk paste and I'm going to cover all of this transfer. Once I've got that on there, I will just remove my transfer, make sure to give it a good wash so I can use it again, and that's it for this DIY. This was really fast, really easy, and I love how high-end this sign looks on this Dollar Tree sign. A huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you did not know, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that gives you everything that you need with freshly packaged and pre-measured ingredients to make delicious seasonal recipes at home. In our family, my husband works full time, I work full time, we have three kids under six years old, you could say it's a bit hectic in our house. The times that I'm able to work is once my husband is home and I am working all night and then he has the kids and then he's also helping me work on top of that. So being able to cook dinner, it does never happen. Let's be totally honest. We spend so much money on fast food. It's absolutely ridiculous being able to go to the grocery store, shop for our ingredients, get home, cook the meals. It's just a lot of time. It takes a lot of time in planning. And because we are so busy, we try really hard to take our kids out a couple times a week to do some sort of fun activity, especially with the holidays being here, being able to see them really excited over Christmas lights and Christmas activities, you know, the Christmas drive through lights. Those are some of our absolute favorite things to go do during this Christmas time. But those days we always end up eating out. We run out of time to figure out what meal we're gonna make, make sure we have all the right ingredients and then cooking it. With HelloFresh, I don't have to worry about that. I know that I have the meal at home with all the ingredients ready for me to go quickly make and I don't have to worry about planning the meals, grocery shopping, and then cooking it. HelloFresh sends it right to my door with all the ingredients and the meals. I can just grab my bag and start preparing the dinner with no thought or stress about it. So this night we made the brown sugar bourbon pork and let me tell you, I am no chef by any means, but this was extremely easy to do. My six-year-old loves to help us with dinner and she was really excited. This was easy enough for her to help prepare our dinner with me. And I love being able to cook a quick meal at home that allows me to spend even more time with my kids as they help with dinner. And a bonus on top of the good food and the time-saving meals, their packaging is made almost entirely from recycled materials. You can go onto HelloFresh's website and choose from 50 delicious menu items every week. You can get vegetarian, calorie smart, or even some gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. If you want to check out HelloFresh, use my code LizMore3 to get up to 14 free meals plus three free gifts at HelloFresh. You can find that link in my description box for more details. Is it good? Yeah, good. Yeah. The beans and the chicken. Yeah, is it good? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? The food and tastes good. It was easy to make. And you need to say thumbs up. Oh, thumbs up. 
Bam, it was bam. good. For this DIY, I'm going to grab some candy canes that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the candy canes. Now for this, you want to make sure that you find candy canes where the hook isn't completely hooked in. If that makes sense, you can see here that the end of the hook is touching the rod of the candy cane. So you want to make sure that you get normal looking candy canes. <laughs> I had a couple boxes, so I was able to fish the normal candy canes out. So I am going to set these up so they kind of make a heart shape between two and I'm going to make it in just a complete circle. I am going to cut off the plastic that hangs down at the bottom of the candy canes just so that these are easier to hot glue together. And you are going to use a total of 20 candy canes for this project, at least for the Dollar Tree ones. If you're using different candy canes, maybe they're a different size and you might need a different number of candy canes. But the Dollar Tree ones, you do need 20. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by hot gluing two candy canes together where they make a heart shape. You are going to do this for 10 sets of these candy canes. Now, once you have all 10 of your sets, you're going to start hot gluing each set together just on the sides where they meet and where they touch. And you're going to do this all the way around until you have a circle of candy canes. Now to add something a little extra and to add some extra reinforcement, I took these wooden snowflakes that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to fill the hole in at the top using some wood filler and then I'm just going to paint this with my Waverly chalk paint in white. Next, I'll just hot glue this right to the center of my candy canes and it still wasn't as much reinforcement as I thought it was going to be. So what I decided to do was take another one of those snowflakes, flip it on over to the back side of the candy canes and hot glue it directly back there. I tried my best to make sure that the two snowflakes matched up exactly so you couldn't tell there was a second snowflake in the back, but that really helped keep everything nice and sturdy. And then as just an extra good measure, I took my hot glue and between each of the candy canes that were facing back to back, I added some more hot glue just to make sure everything was nice and secure. Lastly, I'm just going to take some of this ribbon that I got in a pack from Michael's, I believe, and I am going to just add a little hanger on the top of it. And this makes a really cute candy cane wreath. I thought this was super adorable. You could hang this on your door or you could hang it on a kitchen cabinet that you don't use very often. I just think this one is so much fun. For this DIY, you are going to grab some red pool noodles. Dollar Tree is still selling the red and green pool noodles, and I'm going to cut them down into three pieces, just making each one shorter than the other. So you'll have three pieces, all different sizes. I'm just going to start by taking some satin white ribbon and I just measured out how much ribbon I needed just by wrapping it around each of my little candy cane pool noodle pieces and I just did that for all three of them. Once I had the amount of ribbon that I needed, I'm just going to hot glue the ends to the pool noodle. I won't hot glue the entire thing because I didn't want to have bumps underneath my ribbon. So I just hot glued it at the top and at the bottom. And I did this exact same thing for each piece of my pool noodles. Just hot glued it, wrapped it around my pool noodle kind of at an angle, like how a candy cane would look, and then hot glued the other end down. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna take all three of my candy cane pieces and I'm gonna take some twine. I'll wrap it around them two times and then tying a double knot in the back. You could also hot glue this if you wanted, but I liked the look of the twine wrapped around my candy canes. And then for just a little fun touch, I took some of this greenery that I got from Michaels and I just took a couple pieces off and hot glued them down to the front of my little candy cane structure. And then I added one of these fake peppermints that I got from a pick from Joann's to the very top. And then with those other peppermints that come on the pick, I just hot glued one to the top of each of the other two peppermints. And that is it for this DIY. This turned out so cute. And I think that these would be adorable as centerpieces for a Christmas get together. For this DIY, super easy. Just grab one of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree, grab some of these peppermint candy sticks from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need about two packs. You are just going to put the sticks inside of the candle holder. Try to get them all around the candle as best as you can and leave a little bit of room in the middle for some Christmas picks. So I found a couple of these berry picks at Michael's and I thought that these were really cute and looked perfect for my peppermint theme. So I just took two of these, put them right inside the candle holder and in between all of those peppermints. And then I'm going to take some red and white baker's twine. I am going to hot glue it around the bottom of my candle holder and then I just wrapped it around maybe four or five times hot gluing a little bit in between so that it would stay nice and sturdy on there. Once I have that all the way wrapped around, I'm going to take some more of that baker's twine and I'm just going to tie a simple bow by making two loops and tying them together like you would your shoes. And then I'm just going to hot glue this to the baker's twine around the bottom. And that's it for this DIY. I think this is so cute. Another one that would look really pretty as a centerpiece on a table for a Christmas gathering. I just think it's adorable. For this DIY, I'm going to take this piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it was in their Christmas craft section, and I thought this was really fun. So I'm going to start by painting the front and the back of the sign portion in my Waverly chalk paint in white. And then for the bottom stand and then that top piece, I'm going to paint with my Dixie Belle chalk paint in barn red. Now I'm going to go in with this gingerbread themed chalk couture transfer. This one had a candy shop house on it with a little peppermint that I thought would be perfect for today's DIYs. And the nice thing about this where it comes with multiple houses, they're all numbered at the bottom. So you know which pieces go with which house, which I thought is brilliant because this is going to be a layered piece. So I'm going to start with my first piece that I'm going to use, which is the house. Again, I'm going to fuzz and fuzz and fuzz, and then I'm going to center that onto my sign. If you guys are ever curious about Chocotour, I always have them linked in my description box. I'm a designer with them, and I just absolutely love them. They're so easy to do, and they make my projects look a whole lot more high-end than they would without. I am no artist, so being able to draw something like this is just about impossible. 
So being able to have these that's super quick and super easy makes my projects look so much better. So I'll leave a link to Chakra Tour in my description box if you're ever interested. So I just used my shimmery red chalk paste for the house. I'm just going to remove that transfer and then I will layer the other two transfers on top of the house. So I'm going to use my little peppermint over the circle at the top and then for the little house piece, it's already white, but I wanted to use my shimmery white chalk paste. So this gave that white portion just some extra little glitter that I thought was so beautiful. And then this is going to make my little red circle look like an actual peppermint. I just remove those two transfers and look how cute this turns out on the sign. I'm going to take some ribbon that I got in a pack from Michaels. I just cut a little portion off and I'm going to make two loops, tie it in a really simple bow, and I am going to hot glue this to the top of my sign. And then as a little extra something on the bottom, I took some more baker's twine and just hot glued that around the bottom of the stand. And that's it for this DIY. I think this turned out so stinking cute. For this DIY, you are going to pick up a pack of these styrofoam rounds that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar. You are going to take some pipe cleaner in red and white. I got these packs off of Michaels. And you're going to take a red and a white pipe cleaner and you are going to twist them together. Now, if I would have done this over again, I would have just continued to twist my pipe cleaners together and roll them all on top of each other instead of what I'm going to show you. So for this first one, I'm going to wrap the pipe cleaner in on itself, making a circle and then hot glue the end so it's nice and tight in a circle. So what I should have done was continued to make my pipe cleaner twists and then hot glue them to this right here and then just continued to make a big circle, but I decided to hot glue this down to my styrofoam piece. And then I just made my pipe cleaner twist pieces and hot glued them around and around on top of the styrofoam. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, either way works. I feel like the other way just probably would have been a little bit easier, but this got the job done as well. So all you're gonna do is continue to make your red and white pipe cleaner twist in pieces and you're gonna hot glue it around and around and around until it covers your entire styrofoam piece. This is gonna make a really cute peppermint stand for all sorts of things, candles or you know other little decor pieces that you have. I love that this gives my other peppermint decor kind of an elevation and I just think it's really cute. So this is really simple. This is all you have to continue to do around and around and around until it's all covered up. I did stop after I completed the sides. I didn't think that it needed to be on the bottom portion of the styrofoam. So I just made sure to cover it up enough so that you couldn't see the styrofoam on the bottom side. For this DIY, you're going to take one of these faux candles from the Dollar Tree and another pack and a half of the peppermints from the Dollar Tree. You are going to unpackage each of the mints so they are no longer in their plastic piece and you are just going to hot glue the mints all around your candle. It's simple and easy as that. This took me maybe 10 minutes to do and at the end you have a really cute peppermint looking candle. You can turn the button on on the bottom and I just think that this turned out so cute. Obviously, you want to do this on a fake candle and not a real one. 
so that your peppermints aren't all melting off and everything. But I just think that this turned out really cute and it was such an easy and simple DIY. Occasionally you do have to play a little bit of Tetris trying to get each piece to fit, especially when you're on your last piece for the row. So just play around with each of your mints. Try to find some that are going to fit in those odd kind of smaller spots that you have to fit them into. But in the end, I think it turned out really cute. And that's it for today's video. Let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.